Hey guys, today I'll show you how to pull all gappers, historical gappers, with spike it. Okay, so let's get started. First, we'll sign in. We'll go and create a new data request. And here we set our date range. So if you want, um, you know, 13 years of data or 14 years of data, we can do uh, 2008. Let's just do for now, um, January 1st, 2021. All gappers, we're gonna name our request and we set a date range of uh, one year and three months. Here we set our filters. So get filter is in the custom section. So we jump into the custom section and here we have pre-built presets, filters that we uh, built for you guys. You can also build your own manual ones, but let's just stick uh, with the gap now. So gap greater, let's say I want all uh, stocks that gapped up more than 20% in the past. So gap greater than 20%, add that filter. And here I see it added. And we also have a wording uh, display, a wording view. If you don't really understand what the formula says, you can see it in words. And basically it says the adjusted open price today minus the close yesterday divided by the close times 100. That's greater than 20. So we set our filter. And uh, here we're going to set our columns, which are the data points we'll see in the spreadsheet. So let's say I want the symbol on that date. Let's say I want a date. Let's say we also want the exchange, the stock traded on, uh, the open, high, low, and close price. Uh, so here are my columns, my daily columns. And let's say we want the pre-market volume as well on that day. So we're gonna hop up to intraday, click volume, and we're gonna choose sum, because that's the total, and put the pre-market range. So let's put 929, name it PM volume. And here we have the wording display as well. So I'm pulling the pre-market volume, total unadjusted share volume today between uh, pre-market. And I don't want any more columns for now. So I'm gonna click review. Here I can see everything I did. So I'm, I have only one filter, the gap greater than 20%. And I can give it a tag as well. And here are my columns, uh, the symbol, I'm pulling some daily data and the intraday. Get data, and that's it. That's how I pulled all gappers in the past year, and I see it as pending. And as you can see, it finished, it completed. Not too bad, uh, took about one minute. So one minute to pull all uh, past historical gappers in the past year. It's much better than doing it manually, I guess. Uh, so only one minute to took, uh, let's see how it looks. I can open my data. It's loading. And here I have all of uh, the data. Let's see how many cases were pulled. About 60,000 cases. So that's pretty crazy. The platform did all of this for me. So it pulled 60,000 tickers in the past year and three months that gapped up more than 20%. That's it, guys. Be sure to check out our platform. We're going to put up some more videos to pull different types of data points and different uh, data scans. Thanks.